So Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and two of them went together. Verse 7 says, But Isaac spoke to Abraham his father and said, My father, he said, Here I am, my son. Then he said, Look, the fire and the wood, but there is, where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Verse 8 says, Then Abraham said, My son, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering. So the two of them went together. Verse 9. Then they came to the place of which God had told him. And Abraham built an altar where, where and an altar there, and placed the wood in order. And he bowed Isaac his, his son, and he laid him on the altar upon the hood. And Abraham stretched out his hands and took the knife to slay his son. Verse 11. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. So he said, Here I am. Verse 12. And he said, do not lay your, your hand on the lad or anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son for me. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, I want you to believe together with me that Abraham is our father of faith. And God started communicating with Abraham from the beginning. And Abraham was so obedient to God. Even at a time when God is telling him that a man, you know now that you have to leave from this land and you go to the land that I will show you. The land that he was not even aware of. Pray kwenda kumfanyia ibada, ibada ambayo ni ya sacrifice. Aka mtoleza mbiu, na namuambia ya kwamba, shio maali popochi ambapo unaenda. Hallelujah. Kitu moja ambao ningependa chioni ya leo kaweze kuelewa. Kuna tofauti kubwa katikati ya watu ambao wanaenda tu kanisani na unapoenda katika madhambao unapoenda kanisani unaona tu unaenda katika building tu yoyote you just say that you know this is just a place that I have to go every Sunday then at I go there I can I can now shift my shop to other businesses but I want to tell you something that your perception towards the altar matters a lot kwa sababu wakati umeweza kuyatambua madhambao na ukayaangalia ukajua ya kwamba kila shiku ninapoingia katika nikiingia mahali pale ninaenda mahali ambapo maisha yangu huwa yanabadilishiwa ninaingia mahali ambapo maisha yangu huwa yanapata mwelekeo ninapoenda katika madambao unapoenda kanisani mahali ambapo there is an altar because altar unless nyumba ambao umeje Upo umededicate na ukajenga madhambao na ukatoa dhambiu na pakaombewa kwa jia ya kwamba hapo. Na hapo pakiombewa vile ufai kulala pale shio nyumba tena pale ni madhambao. Bwana sifuye saa. Any time because I know sometimes mtu anasema ya kwamba mimi nilichiombea kwa nyu blangeti alafu anarudi tena. Anasema tu, tuliconnect pamoja ya siku fika mchungaji lakini tulikuwa pamoja kwa kiro. Atuku kuwa pamoja kwa kiro. Bwana sifuye saa. An altar is a precious place where we go to offer our sacrifice, where we go to speak to our God. I want to connect you with Abraham. The Bible says that God is telling him, go to a certain mountain and I will show you the earthly pleasure. That is where I want my sacrifice to be offered. Hallelujah. Bwana sifuwe sa. Mambo, tunapoendelea na, na, na kuongea kuhusu being rejected through the altar. Ninataka ukaweze kuwa kinoleji vitu mbili. Ya kwanza, nini maombi yako ya kiombe wa maali pale. Kitu cha kwanza ni kwamba, you must discover your altar. Au tatembea kila maali palipo na madhambo kisheme ya kwamba.
niwabudu hapo you must discover your heart first and you know this is the place where god is this to my life hallelujah then after you discover that i want to know i want to you to about the altar kama utaendelea kukua richaka yote hata kama imekuwa ikichelewa ninajua ya kwamba Mungu yupo mahali hapa ukiwa na mtanzamo kama ule lazima madhambao yako yakakutetee kwa sababu Mungu akiangalia moyo wako anaona ya kwamba huyu atio mimi nitaponea Bwana asifiwe sana nyinyi amujaenda kwa nyinyi mumeokoka sana na and I salute you lakini ukipatana na watu ambao walienda kwa waganga akienda pale anaenda akiwa serious akiambiwa simama anasimama anatii kwa sababu aliambiwa ukitoka pale unatoka uko sawa akiambiwa nenda mara tano mara salake na watoto wake ya kwamba wanapoenda katika madambao hawaendi kama mahali popote ambapo huwa panaendwa wanaenda wakiwa makini kabisa wakijua leo ni leo ninaenda kupatana na Mungu wangu na hapo katika hayo madambao hayatanyamaza kwa maana Mungu yupo mahali pale. Kwa hivyo acknowledge me that it is the first step for the altar to start fighting for you. Deme ya kwamba hayo madambao sitaki kujua mchungaji wa yale madambao ana miaka ngapi sitaki kujua anaitwa nani kabila gani lakini mahali pale kuna Mungu na hapo ndipo Mungu anaeleleaga and that is how we are changed through the house ya 17 kwa sababu nikipitiza 17 nitakuwa nimekosea. Bwana asifiwe sana. Another point that I want to tell you about the altar tunapoendelea. Bado tuko kwa Abraham. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Wakati ambapo umejiunganisha na madhambao na unajua pale ndio Mungu huwa ana, anaongea. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ni lazima ukaweze kujua you must honor that altar. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Imadambao tu sio mahali popote ambapo utaenda vile ambavyo unataka. In the Old Testament wote ambao walienda kwa madambao hata hakuna mtu alikuwa anaruhusiwa kukaribia kuingia ndani ya kanisa na yule ambaye alitakikana kuingia ni yule priest na priest hakuwa anaweza aminika alikuwa tu, ilikuwa 50-50 Ambibiri na sema in the Old Testament na madambao kwa sababu labda alikuwa amemuudhi Mungu wakiona amerudi kamba inatolewa kwa sababu amerudi nje an altar from the word go in the old testament was not a place whereby you could go and a joke and this is the reason as why some of us are always complaining that nimeenda hiyo church saa hii niko miaka yangu ya saba na hakuna muongiza hayo madambao hajawahi ninenea ninaenda kujaribu ingine town ninaenda kujaribu ingine ile nilitoka nyumbani haleluya sijui kama umeishi kwa na hiyo pepo bwana asifiwe sana yani ume ume, ume assume madambao ambao unayaona hata ukiona mtumishi wa Mungu sio mtu madambao tu ni kama mahali popote tu alafu unapiga miaka yako karibu kumi na baadaye ndio unaanza kusema ama Unajua kuna kanisa yenye nilikuwa ninaenda Kishagi kabla nikuje Nairobi. Hapo ni kama ndio hapo eh? ndio ni kama steps zangu nili nilimes. That is not the, the reason. The reason is ninaongea kuhusu altar. An altar that you don't recognize. An altar that you don't respect. An altar that you don't honor. An altar that you cannot even trust with your tithe it will never speak for you no matter how how, how powerful we gonna come to you in the name of fire 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 it will you will just the only thing that you will go home with ni kusweta ambao umesweti uki ukipiga duru kanisani i want to tell you something today i'm not here to even to preach because the pastor of this church is also my pastor and i know he, he has to preach about everything Nilikuja tu kuongeza ka kitu kadogo kukwambia kwamba this season ya kukua richanchi tupate nguvu za kusonga mbele katika imani yetu itakuwa effective ni lazima tukaweze kuyatambua madhambao yetu tukajue ya kwamba katika hayo madhambao kuna mchungaji katika hayo madhambao kuna sacrifice katika haya madhambao lazima nipeleke maombi I want 
Nataka tu uandike ka point hapo hata kama unjui kana maanisha aje nitakuelezea baadaye uandike uh, for my altar to be effective I must have my own local arrangement Kuna kitu inaitwa local arrangement Bwana asifiwe But do you know what Tumesoma mpaka verse 11 Biblia inasema ya kwamba Ibrahim akajipanga vizuri. Hakuita mke wake amwambie msaidie na kuni anaenda juu. Haa, kuna vile ambavyo tu anajiandaa vizuri. Na wakati ninaongea kuhusu local arrangement, you must get to know that your relationship with the altar is personal. Praise the name of the Lord. That your relationship with the altar doesn't need involvement and of your your friends the bible says that now abram is getting instructions from god and he is taking actions there by there he had his wife but he did not consult him hallelujah hata hiyo sio point yangu point yangu ni hii moja ambayo nataka ashughulikiwe na mzae vizuri Bwana asifiwe sana. Anashughulikiwa vizuri. Anafungwa fungwa na tuoni mahali popote ambapo Ibrahim anatafuta mtu amshikie. Wewe unaweza ka hapo ukatwe shingo ukiona. Kumaanisha kijana bado anajaribu kuepa lakini mzae alifanya kitu inaitwa local arrangement. Akajua vile ambavyo atamgua atam shika na kamba amfunge vizuri ashipige duru kwa maana tujaambiwa na kijana kaanza kungangana na baba yake baba yake anashughulika bwana asifiwe sana mimi naongea hivi kuhusu alta kwa sababu kuna mtu akitoa sacrifice ya nguvu sana anapitia kanisani akiambia watu wengine nyinyi ile siku mtajua muta, mtakuwa watu wa maana sana nini nini yani lazima watu wajue ya kwamba kuna kitu ya nguvu umefanya that's why i'm saying that for you to be effectively chanted by the altar you must take your relationship with the altar as a personal matter the quality ya kitu umeleta kwa madhambao kwa sababu kuna kitu ambacho unataka kifanyike katika maisha yako bwana asifiwe sana it is between you and god and you get rechanced and it becomes more effective when you take it between you and god bwana asifiwe sana mimi kuna msana ninajua na huyu msana alifutwa kazi siku moja friday na tulikuwa na kesha na kazi yake si hata nilipwa pesa hivi hivi she just unajua mshahara wake alikuwa amelipwa alafu aniambi sasa aingetoshea kwa ile basha kama ile yetu ya hapa church na kuanga iko hivi. Sasa ameileta na kale kakaratasi ya nini? Ile kakaratasi ya ya sukari. Mnaelewa? Akaniambia pasi, nimekaa uni pray and hata uh, wamenilipa na wamenidi. Sasa unajua mimi amenipatia kitu. Unajua kuna vitu singine hutaki kuambiwa na roho. Unasikia uzito. Nikachukua na hiyo uzito nika hapana nikaenda nikaenda nikaombea kwa ofisi na nikaweka kwa draw Nika nikamuita tena nikamuuliza wewe nasiki hii kwani kunaenda aje akaniambia that's my tithe plus the entire salary everything that they have given to me na ninajua pasta kwa sababu haya madhambao ndio ninenea by mountain nitakuwa kazi Bwana asifiwe sana Awandi sini the language hata na mkuli ati au oh, pole na mimi sijui na kuanga aje nikamuuliza na ume ni with it nyumba umelipa nyumba anambia pastor sijalipa nyumba na i don't want anything i have come to test it is god they have fired me i've brought the entire salary everything even i don't know how i will manage na ilikuwa mwisho wa mwezi bwana asifiwe sana that's why i was telling uh, reverend nikamwambia uh, i'm telling Badala nimwambie Mungu ambariki nikamwambia kwanza pole yani naona huyu mtu nimenyanyasa kabisa But uh, the next Monday it was on a Friday she got another job that was bigger than the one that she was working praise the name of the Lord You know she not go when I'm saying that an altar will recharge you the way, according to the way you perceive it praise the name of the Lord 
You know, ako na masista, ako na makuzo, na ako na mabeste wanguvu kama wewe. But ako uzisha rafiki yeyote. Wewe rafiki yako wakuja anze kumbia. Hey man, how do you see mimi ni pereke hii yote kwa pashi? Ata musemangi kwa madhambao ni pereke pashi hii, anchipange. That is where we miss our marker. When we bringing our sacrifices, atuletei pasta, tunaileta kwa madhambao. Kiyo mungu na ye ya kaweze kushugulika from there. Hallelujah. Biasha, hiyo uh, pointi kwa kumbia uandike ya personal arrangement. Yani local arrangement. Ni kitu ambayo awiti watu wakwenu olise wa same na onaje. Awiti hata watu wambie. Yani una watu tu wanakuanga na kiburi. Na hata mtu anataka kutoa lakini ni kama ataki. Anataka kujitolea lakini ni kama ataki. Lazima ite watu wambie buwana. Ebungu ni patia ka security kidogo. Leo ile kitu naperekea pasi. Hata siyo madambao. Una... That is where we miss. Ile kitu naperekea pasi. Inaitaji security. Munifikishe tu alafu njini murudi. Abraham umiona mahali anajichote akisema ya kwamba men where can I get two strong guys? Bibri nasema alikuwa na wasaidizi. Na akawambia ya kwamba he did not even disclose what he was going to do there. He is telling them that a man will be back after this service over. Just wait a half year. He is not disclosing anything. Bwana sifuwe sana. Mimi kuna mbao ambazo nilipenda ball sana. Kuna wakati nilikuwa ni fanatic wa Manchester. Yani mbao ya mani yu ikifungu ambao ilikuwa inafungwa kwa kipua yangu. Ninaisi vibaya sana ni nangonga mtu ni nangusha. We mume niji wakati ni meisha nguvu. Wacheni ni malize. Bwana sifuwe sana. Yani nilikuwa ni mechukua Manchester kama kitu. Yani uonge kinyume na Manchester. Na ikifungwa weekend yote mimi sikuli. Mbaka Monday itu pigane na mtu mangumi. Mbaka nilipo enda ni kaombewa. Nika realize that my heart needs to be somewhere else. My spirit needs to be connected with the things that matter. Bwana sifuwe sa. We can be in the church. We can be associated with, with an altar. But the altar will never, will never give us the benefit will never bless us kwa sababu kwa football kuna kitu nilikuwa nina watch inaitwa inaitwa offside unafunga mbao lakini ile mbao inakataliwa na ref referee anaikataa anasema hapana ulikuwa offside and this is what happens in the spiritual realm we we serve god faithfully on the altar but tuna serve design yenye ni kama tunataka kuonesha watu wengine ya kwamba nyinyi hata mjuangi chenye mnafanya bwana asifiwe sana Itachi yetu unajua uzuri imeonkoka ile ninahubiri kuhusu hii maneno inafanyikanga kule ngarisa watu wanasumbuliwa na alshabab nataka kuimagine tu sio huku kwetu but you realize that uh, sometimes we are connected to the altar but the way we speak about the altar even the things that we do towards the altar mpaka tupigiwe makofi mengi sana mpaka hata chairman wa development aambiwe sasa chairman kuja uongoze watu kupiga ile makofi ya twa 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 ta 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 funga fungua funga fungua hiyo ni makofi ya huko kambani kwetu ya ku, ya kupigia mheshimiwa akiwa ametoa pesa mingi kwa mchango bwana asifiwe sana i am here today to tell you it was abraham was recharged the time he approached the altar of god with obedience it was very painful but he, he, he organized himself internally without involving other people. Many of the miracles that we are seeking, until we take our relationship with the God as a personal, we are likely to keep on sowing and sowing seeds everywhere. And today I came to pray together with you that may God help us that as we have identified that this is our altar. Hallelujah. Watuache upuzi. Ushe ipatana na mtu anakuambia kwamba ameolewa kwa ndoa 18 years. Hiyo ndoa inahitaji kitambulisho. Na bado anaenda kwa katoloni kuomba. Mungu nataka unioneshe kama huyo ndio 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 mbavu yangu. Miaka 18. Kama sio mbavu yako ungekuwa amekufa ama we ukufe. I'm saying this because when I seek about the altar, bado kuna mtu hapa ndio alipata job hapa Shilo Kario Bangi. Anajua pastor wake ni Reverend Isaac, amekuwa kwa hii church 
tangu tulipoanza kujenga tulitoka na yeye John Saga na bado saa nyingine wakati amekwaruzwa kidogo tu wale amepitia hapo akichukua amemkanyanga anaenda kwa mlima kuanza kwamba Mungu nioneshe kama hiyo ndio madhamba unataka nikutumikie hapo ndio Mungu aliongeleleanga na mahali Mungu aliongeleleanga hapo ndio madhamba yako Ah, nimekuja kuhubiri jili ambayo sio ya huku. That some people are still praying ya kwamba God, can you show me who is my spiritual father? Can you show me where my altar is? And you been here? Hata ulitoa hii madhambo hata ulitoa box mbili tatu ukanunua. Ukanunua tukajenga. Sasa bado unaendelea na kuconfirm kama na hapo ndio umekuwa mtu. Hata ukikuja kwa hii kanisa ulikuwa na na kilo 36 kama mimi. Na sasa yuko almost 65. Na bado you want to confirm whether this is the altar ambayo haleluya you still hapo ndio Mungu amekuinua amekufanya ukakuwa mtu and you are still in doubting whether this is the man of God that God has and haleluya munisamee kesho sijui kama nitakubaliwa lakini wacheni tu tuendelee nimekuja tu kukwambia kwamba you must acknowledge your altar na tuache hii mambo ya kusema ya kwamba niliona kwa ndoto nilienda mimi naonanga tu ni kama Reverend Isaac ndiye pastor wangu kidogo lakini nikifika kwa mke wake tena naanzanga doubt kwa maana anipendi you ana altar you know bwana asifiwe sana when you, you you recognize and you discover your halta it da, hata pastor anaweza kuwa mwingianaji haleluya mimi kuna watu ambao they know that i'm their spiritual father na sometimes hata tuingianaji hata na wengi napata ya kwamba nimeongelesha lugha ya mazi yote na mtu ni mjaluo na anafumilia tu anasema bora tu kwa hiyo maneno yako na ukikamba yako umesema tu nibarikiwe because they know that is where their god will speak We are missing the recharge through the altar because we are still in doubt whether that is the place we supposed to be or we supposed to go to another place. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mimi sitaki kuhubiri sana, lakini nataka nikamalize nikikuuliza, nikikwambia kwamba you must know your God and you must you, you, you must know where your God speaks to mahali ambapo Mungu where, where your God speaks to you and, and this is a place that called halta the bible says in the book of genesis chapter 28 biblia inaendelea kuongelelea inaongelelea kuhusu jacobo wakati ambapo anatoka katika inchi uh, anatoka inchi ya kwao sasa akiwa ameiba ile baraka The Bible says that, that night is left somewhere at night he just took a stone as a pillow and anapolala mahali pale the bible says ya kwamba akaona ndoto usiku ukisoma vale, uh, pale pale 30 that too biblia inasema ya kwamba and the angels of the lord were descending and ascending and he said surely the lord is here he did not need to ask his another person niliona hivi nikafanya hivi na nikaona aliconfirma akasema surely i did not even know the lord is here mahali ulipatana na mungu bwana asifiwe sana hapa kwa hii kanisa ambapo yani siku hizi hata makanga wanaweza wakakuita chama na machi ya ledi kulingana na vile unajua eh ni mmei tu hivyo na makanga bwana asifiwe sana yani hata ukiangaliwa you are nobody hapo mahali ya maisha yako imebadilika hapo mahali ambapo Mungu anatumananga unaongeleshwa hapo kwa hiyo kanisa that is your altar bwana asifiwe sana i want to give you vitu vitatu ndio tumalize sasa na i just want to give you Uh, three things to understand about your halter one you must speak good of your halter bwana asifiwe sana in the book of second kings chapter 5 chapter 6 biblia inaongea kuhusu msichana mmoja ambaye amewekwa katika hali ya mateka katika nyumba ya Naaman and the bible says ya kwamba she was still able to speak good it is in the book of uh, iko katika kitabu cha second kings Second Kings the Bible is speaking about this ya kwamba this woman huyu mshana mdogo mjakazi in the book of second kings chapter chapter 2 verse 5 verse 3 chapter 5 verse 3 ukiendelea kusoma pale bibili nasema ya kwamba na mshana ambaye alikuwa mateka na nataka tu nikwambie kitu kimoja when i speak about you must speak good of your altar sio nyakati zote ambazo unaimba Yesu ni bwana uko na ushuhuda umeongezwa mshahara hata wakati umefinyiliwa bado madhambao yako inabakia kukuwa madhambao yako haleluya
Hata wakati mumeingia kwa fellowship ukashikia hiyo fellowship iko na ukabila ni kiluya peke yake inaongelelewa kule. Bado unaongea vizuri kuhusu madhambao yako. Biblia inasema ya kwamba na huyu mshana akamwambia mke wanaamani ya kwamba je, kama bosi wangu angeweza kuenda katika inji ya kwetu, kuna madhambao yaliyo na mtumishi mahali pale na ninajua ya kwamba atapona. Kitu moja tu nikuulize. Mbona huyu msichana Siangekuwa na feelings aseme kama hiyo maombi ya Elija ainge nitetea mimi nisiweze kushikwa mateka but she is still speaking good of the prophet of the Lord Bwana asifiwe sana madhambao ambayo wezi ukayaongelelea vizuri Bwana asifiwe sio madhambao yako there are some people their halters are not communicated to them because they go there to look for mistakes so that they can go out and they start speaking about how people are not seriously serving God. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe sana. Unajua kuna mtu alikuja there is a time nilikuwa nina preach kwa church na ilikuwa kesha na mnajua mahali church yetu ilikuwa kulikuwa na tent. Tulikuwa kwa tent na kulikuwa kuna nyesha. Then uh, I've always been allergic to baridi and Asijai staki huyu mtu kwa reverend na mstaki leo. Asijui kama alikufa ama yuko. You can imagine pastor Steve I'm preaching ni saa ya usiku and that time nime preach nime preach na machi inapitia huku na imeanza kuni affect. Na wakati ilianza kuni affect nikasikia ninadungwa nikashikwa na pneumonia ya haraka sana. Na sasa point zangu kwa sababu zinakuanga saba nilikuwa katika point ya 5 50 points na siwezi malizia pale no you know nili, nilisonga kidogo nikakaa katika madhambao nikashikilia nimeshishika hivi msijue kama niko na shida na ninahubiri na ama ama titulating the point kabisa but somebody sits at there and asema ya kwamba unaona vile paashi ameboweka anta amina yani niko niko katika maumivu nataka point iishe praise the name of the lord and that somebody is there hii mimi ndio baba yake haya ndio madhambao yake lakini sasa ameanza ku point out ya kwamba unaona vile kunaenda i am here today to tell you sometimes you will see mistakes that are, that are might be conducted on the altar by the priest or the people that are officiating the service but i want to tell you that your altar belongs to you your altar remains should be your altar with the mistakes with the misunderstandings lazima ukaweze kuyatambua yale yale madhambo yako mimi sikujua nilifumilia nikafumilia nikamaliza point yangu ya saba and then nikaita Adeni nikaenda home. Bado mtu wananifuata kusema, si unaona tu mapasta wakianza kutajirika vile wanakuanga. Hata hawezi kaa hapa. Hawezi pasta wetu hata hawezi kaa kwa madambao mpaka hawezi kaa kwa kesha mpaka iishe. Saa hiyo nimeenda bwana kutafuta madawa. I want to tell you that even your pastor can come and sit down there. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na akose kukuhubiria. His presence in the in the altar too inatosha wewe kupokea chenye ulikuwa unahitaji kupokea. Wacha hiyo design ya kutakanga ati tunakunyonga sijui tunakufanya nini alafu ndio sasa waamini. When you are connected with your altar you don't sit there to start correcting the, the those people that are leading the service. Your focus is that this is the place where God sends his angels. They descend and ascend. When you have that belief your case is sorted. Si uinue tu mkono wako sema Mungu nisaidie. Nikaweze kunyenyekea kwa madhambao yangu kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Pigia tu Bwana makofi mazuri. Baraka zako ziko mahali hapa. Another thing ya kwanza nimesema ya kwamba you must speak good about it. Anasema in the book of Genesis in the book of second kings Biblia inasema ya kwamba huyu mwanamke akasema ya kwamba ninatambua hata kama niko kwa slave ninajua kwa inchi yetu hata kama Mungu wako nikomboa kutoka huko niko hapa kama slave but I know of a servant of God. Wewe hata kama Biblia ya capture wewe ungekuwa huyo mdosi alipona ungeenda tu kusemanga huyo msichana salary yake iko ange tu 10000 hata kama hujaambiwa hata kama hatujaambiwa huyo jamaa alirudi na huyo demo aka, akapewa vitu vizuri hata nafikiri alipewa mpaka bwana na shamba bwana asifiwe sana 
Because, you know, sometimes we cannot, we cannot seek good of our halters, but we need them to give us the benefit. Just because your prayer has never been answered, you cannot invite people to the church. Unawambianga ngojeni tu, ngojeni tu mimi ni kitendewa, wacheni ni waonje, wacheni ni waonje uzito, alafu sasa, ni kifaniki wanti yoni tawaita, nini kaeni huko huko tu kwa mofea. I want to tell you that uh, ile perception ukonayo katika madhambao yako, ukijua kwamba hapo ntiyo mahali mungu ananineneanga, hata kama ajaninenea, ayo ntiyo madhambao yangu. Na unayaongelelea vizuri. Bwana sifuwe saa. Nini munafikiri mke wa mchungaje atapenda mume wake ampende alafu tena akuja shindange kila mtu hapa anapendwa anapigiwa simu saingine mtu anapiga ana absent church na anasema ni sitaenda church leo ndio nione kama pastor Janis atanipigia simu sasa wewe hata hujamwekea credit na hata akijaribu kukupigia ushikangi simu na hata upigangi kukuja kusema ya kwamba nilipata mamu nilipata miss call yako haupigi asema eh hey, kama nitafuta umenitafuta Wacha wanitafute. Yeah. Wetu kulikuwa na jamaa hata najua na ni watch. Na kama ana ni watch asikie hivyo. Kuna jamaa alikuwa anaitwa Francis. Alikosa kukuja practice ya Sunday school. Yes, alikuwa anaitwa Francis. Na alikosa kukuja practice. Huo wakati hata mimi sikukuwa pastor nilikuwa mwalimu wa Sunday school. Nimepitia vikosi tishambreani wacheni kusema ati mtu hawezi kuwa mwalimu wa Sunday school. Na akakosa kukuja juendi alikuwa mnoma wa kuimba. Mnoma kabisa. Alafu saa nane ananipigia. Huo wakati nilikuwa kakonda kawanichibini kwa naitwa Kajoni. Kajoni, ibada ilikuwaje? Nikamwambia bwana wacha hivyo. Pastor Lydia ameimba. Ana Pastor Lydia hakuwa anaitwa pasta. Hakuwa pasta. Nikamwambia ile na ni ukweli aliimba. Akaniambia, "Gai, hivyo ndio unaweza niambia. Sasa unasema yeye ni mnoma kuniliko. Mi nilikuwa nafikiri leo kwa ibada mtaboweka mpaka munikol. Ambia hata sandi usipokuja tutakuwa tuko sote kabisa. Akuja kwa pasha wetu anamwambia kwamba pasha eh John aliniongelesha vibaya, ananiambia ati vile shi. Nani akaambiwa shi ni kweli? Kuliibiwa. Bwana asifiwe sana. When you Sasa nataka nikakwambia kwamba for you are alter to be effective in your life, you must be present. Hawezi shughuliki yangu na madhambo ukiwa absent. Bwana asifiwe sana. You must be present. You must be present. Amen. Hata kama pastor hana point sisi wote tukiwa hapo tunasema amen amen. Na tunatoa sandaka tunaenda mbinguni. Mbinguni ama nyumbani. Mimi siendi mbinguni saa hii. Labda mumniambie ni waombe saa hii muende. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe sana. Nataka kumalizia mahali siku ya leo kikwambia kwamba kama madhambao yako itakuchaji uwezi chajiwa ukiwa nyumbani bwana asifiwe sana inaeleweka wakati we ni mgonjwa lakini mimi maongojo yengine na, na, na Mungu anisaidie tu na pasta Miriam ukimuona mumsalimi yake kwa heshima hiyo mama ananisaidianga wakati nimefika tu hivi ni laani mtu ananiambia wacha basi juu kuna mtu siku nyingine ameniambia kwamba pasi i am not going to make it to the church i'm not feeling well na jioni jioni amefungua job yani amengojeka tu saa ya ibada amande yako job ako job mapema sana hata jioni yako job mapema sana nikaita mke wangu nikamwambia sasa wacha nitume huyu mama sasa isiyu vizuri anacheza na nani atizaza you know and you know it is your heart you are Gaombia waacha tutushikane mkono sasa tuombe vizuri. Uwezi sema ufiki kwa ibada we ni mgonjwa na saa nane uko kwa kazi, Monday uko kwa kazi. Mimi nikikupata uko kama masande ulikuwa mgonjwa kabisa huko fika kwa halta, hata Monday ukue kwa kitanda bado. Sasa mimi nika nika ataki mke wangu ataki kunishika mkono nikaanza nika mbamba katika jina la Yesu. Aka akanifanya hivi na akaniongelesha kama ni ndi wika ni hata ndiye ni mwiwi yetu hii mwiwi yetu hii akaniambia sasa mwiwi yetu hii ni kusema muhurumie tu muhurumie tu when you know your heart bwana asifiwe sana when you know na when you know your heart ni mahali unaponeanga hata afadhali useme ya kwamba mimi ni bebwe na mimi nishaambia watu wa kwetu nyumbani ile siku mtasitia mimi ni mgonjwa washinipeleke kwanza hospitali kwanza nilete kwa kanisa nipewe ile microphone yangu wanifanye testing wakisikia kwamba si sehemu ya haleluya sasa tuende hospitali 
Because I know my heart, it recharges me. There are sometimes I'm sick on Saturdays, but I go to sleep to the church on the altar and I start praying and I get recharged. Hallelujah. Yani, I want us to be more serious. Maze, mi si jakuja kuwachonga. Praise the name of the Lord. Mi mi si jakuja kuwachongoa. Nime kuja kuambiaje. Kama tutakuwa rechanced. Wacheni madambao. Tukaweze kuja knowledge Na tukue present. Bwana asifuwe sana. Mina taka nisiki ya tisidui. Feroni kama aski poa. Lakini tuliona ameleto hapo na taxi. Akashikiliwa, akashikiliwa mbaka kwa kiti. Na kulingana vile mimi ni naamini. Reverend Isaac. Hallelujah. Si mimi nimempeleka ukambani kwetu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Si tumetembea tukaombea watu wagonjwa. Si ushikaniwe madhambaoni pale. Refa hawezi akakuombea alafu uendelee kutoka hapa ukiwa umeshikaniwa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Wangapi wanasikia kusema Mungu ni samee? Amen. Na Mungu atusamee sisi wote. Hata mimi ninaombanga msamao wakati nimeenda hospitali kama hajaniombea. Timwambie ref nimetoka hosi. Na mwambia pole kwa sababu kwanza si kuripoti kwako before I go there. Because I know he has the anointing of my healing. Praise the name of the Lord. Until we take halters seriously. Until we be present. Praise the name of the Lord. Na kukuwa present sio hiyo tu ya kukuja church peke yake. Akikisha ya kwamba you are present kwa kitabu ya sacrifice. Akikisha ya kwamba you are present hata kwa kitabu ya tai. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hebu tupigie pastor wenu makofi mazuri. Wacha tu ni wacheni tu ni mtolee siri moja ya pastor wenu hata kama tukitoka hapa anaenda kunisamo. You know we go to we go with him to the mountain. Na sangine anakuanga amebeba kitabu cha Tithas wa hapa. Na anabeba hiyo kitabu cha Tithas. Ninasikia kila mtu wakitajwa jina yake, jina yake, jina yake. Hata sangine tunambadilishana na mimi ninakuja nayo. Yani imagine. Hiyo Tithi unatoa tunaandikanga vizuri sana. Are you, are you present in that book? Bwana sifuwe sana. Aombe yangi ati God bless every every tither of Shiloh Kariobanki. Mimi ni shahidi. Nimesai sikia mara sio moja. Akiombea kila mtu anaangalia hiyo record vizuri. Amwezi pata pasta mwingine. Hata mimi nilikopi kutoka kwake. Amwezi pata pasta mwingine kama huyu hapa Nairobi. Hata msiposema amen. Hata msipompigia makofi mazuri. Amen. Si mimi naendanga kwa mlima. Na sijai sikia mwingine akiomba hiyo maombi mpaka nikakopi. I'm here today to tell you something. That until, until you recognize the altar, because the altar, to mesema, is not complete without the priest. Ana ange jitambiria seme mwaka kesho, wakati kama huu atakuwa na mtoto. Mbaka tu mtumishi wa mungu anatokea na muambia, mwanamuke wewe kwa nini wewe unalewa sana sana. Na muambia siye ulevi ni hile uchungwi kwa kwa moyo wangu. Ana muambia sasa. Na hizo siku zingine heli alikuwa jawaita muka kitu. Hallelujah. Uwe wakati ambapo alitamka mama mwaka ingine wakati kama huwa alikuja na mtoto hallelujah you cannot ignore the priests bwana asifiwe sana mimi najua kuna time nikiwa kule church kwetu ninajiulizanga hawa watu wa kariobangi wanajiwanga wamebarikiwa kweli mpaka naonanga ni kama amsembi amen ya kutosha nasikia sijui nikimbie nikuje kusaidia kusema amen kubwa kwa sababu najua pasta wangu hako na point. Hata mtu mingine hakisema ana point mimi na ezaleta. Shida kwa sababu lazima, lazima na bi wangu hakuwe na point hata kama ana. Kwa sababu madambao ndio ile na yeye ndiye prisi wa yale madambao. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mimi nataka nikaweze kumalizia nikiwambia ya kwamba if your altar is going to benefit you. Bibili mesema ya kwamba Abraham akaenda and he was willing to risk. Yaani alipewa tu na Mungu kijana moja. And the Bible says that after doing all these local arrangements he is ready to sacrifice the only son. Bwana asifiwe sana. You must be ready to risk. Bwana asifiwe sana. You risk your money, you risk your health for the altar. Bwana asifiwe sana. Vitu zingine ni ku risk. 
maana ya sacrifice sio mabakisho sacrifice ni kitu unatoa hata wewe ukitoka hivi unaanza kulenga lenga simu zingine za bills kwa sababu unajua kuna mahali umeumia lakini wakati ambapo umetoa sacrifice bwana asifiwe sana na hiyo sacrifice it is not hata usikii kama kuna kitu imeenda it is not sacrifice bwana yesu asifiwe sana wangapi wataniombea ruhusa kwa reverend kesho nikuje kwa sababu sijui kama kesho usiangalie hiyo mikono hesabu nabii ukinyima kesho ujue umekosea kanisa yote amen bwana yesu asifiwe sana tomorrow i want to i want if i get the chance i'll come and share about the relationship between your sacrifice and the altar vile ukitoa hiyo sacrifice kwa altar ina get rechant kutoka kwa altar and then from there kunaanza kukua na milipuko bwana asifiwe sana kuna vile ambavyo uki, uki, ukianza kwa acknowledge the altar you become loyal to the altar bwana asifiwe sana you cannot be loyal you cannot be loyal to an altar that you don't you don't acknowledge praise the name of the lord you cannot and it cannot happen you when when you you cannot be forced to respect the altar when you you know very well if you read in the book of exodus chapter 3 verse 15 inaendelea kueleza kuhusu madhambao madhambao ni mahali ambapo watu kuwa ni chance ni mahali ambapo uwai inatamkwa unatamkiwa uwai ukiwa wewe auna why na why inaingia bwana yesu asifiwe sana when you acknowledge your altar you become faithful without uh, being threatened you praise the name of the lord you become una unakuwa mtu ambaye you have total faith on that altar that i will give the, the precious things that i have to this altar and i know that i will connect with the altar na lazima niweze kukuwa richanti bwana asifiwe sana kwa hivyo kuanzia leo Nataka tu nikakuongezee tu hiyo point ya kwamba anytime you are going to church kabla hujakanyanga kwa ile mlango na nataka unabadilisha mawazo yako na hata kama ulikuwa umeanza kuimba kale kawimbo kasiri ama unaanza sasa kuambia bwana ya kwamba sasa ninaingia mahali pako bwana asifiwe sana ninaingia mahali pa kushughulikiwa ninaingia the, the way you wewe mwenyewe unajishughulikia kwanza unajiandaa na unajia kwamba i am not going to end other place bwana asifiwe sana si mwache tu niwaachie na andithi moja ya madhambao madhambao sijui hapa kama kuna watu ambao wametoka saidi ya ukambani walisikia kitu inaitwa kelume inua tu mkono kama umeisikia hiyo kitu hiyo ni ibada inafanyika kule ukambani miaka ya kitambo kabla sasa sisi tuanze kuhubiri shetani ashindwe kabisa they, they could go wangekusanyika mahali na walikuwa wanaenda mahali kwa mti na sio mti ingine yoyote wanaenda wanafanyia Mungu ibada na katika hiyo ibada mimi nikiwa kijana mdogo tulikuwa tunawasaidia katika hiyo ibada na hiyo ibada wanapeleka chakula mzuri kwa, kwa maana wanaamini ya kwamba katika hiyo ibada ikiisha lazima mvuo inyeshe na ilikuwa inafanyikanga siku ya Friday Mr Brian ungekuwa hapo ningekuconnect visa nyingine tulikuwa tunaconnect sasa wanatengeneza hiyo chakula mzuri sana na hiyo chakula inapelekwa mahali sacred chini ya mti. Chakula mzuri iko mpaka na mafuta ya ngombe na vitu vingine. Na wakishapeleka pale wanasema miungu zao watakuja wakule. Funny enough mimi na jeshi yangu tulikuwa sisi ndio hao miungu. Waki, ma, wakiweka chuo hapo. Wakiweka chuo hapo tunaangalia au tusoso tumedance. Wameenda wameweka hapo wanasema miungu zetu mukule kunyeshe. Mimi na jeshi yangu. Sasa hapo ndio Mr. Brian anasema ungeingililia sasa. Mimi na kikosi changu tunakuja tuna haa hata ni moto. Tunaikula tunaikula. Alafu kesho yake wanaimba tena. Mungu zetu ngaisi tunisie. Ye, yeah. Mungu zetu zimekula na mvua inanyesha. That is their faith. Hawajui kama ni sisi tulishughulika. They are faith wanajua wakienda wapeleke chakula kwa ile mlima kwa hiyo muti hapo chini ikulwe tu miungu zao ikule lazima kunyeshe hawataki kujua ni sisi tulikula na hawajawahi jua by the way na wote walikufa lakini sisi tulikuwa tunajiwanga ya kwamba tukienda tu tunaenda tunakula kwa sababu sasa chakula inaachiwa mungu gani hapo wakati tuko na jaa ibada hiyo inakamilika haleluya 
shida yetu madambao zetu wazineni kwa sababu wewe unatoa sacrifice kali sana na unataka kukaa hiyo wiki ukimonta pasta ameenda Mombasa ama ameenda Dubai pasta amevaa suti mpya ama ni mzee pasta amefanya nini ako na car improvement ni ile uzito niliangusha pale just forget about that bwana asifiwe sana ya 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 inyamu nijui vizuri hebu simameni tuombe hallelujah ana alta the way usitake kujua madhambo ime usitake kujua wewe pokeanga na uende nyumbani ukiimba bwana nimejua unanipenda hallelujah hiyo mambo mengine iwache tu kwa madhambo usitake kujua pastor anapeleka tithe yako mbinguni monday ama tuesday just be faithful to that altar hallelujah Inua tu mikono yako mwambie Bwana Bwana nisaidie. Anza tu kuomba mwambie tu Bwana Bwana I need more knowledge that I may respect that I may honor your halter. Inua tu mikono zako anza kuabudu Bwana mwambie Bwana ninahitaji madhambao yako yakaweze kuunganika pamoja na maisha yangu ya kwamba hali yangu ikaweze kubadilika. Hali yangu nimechoka Bwana na kuzunguka mahali pamoja. Ninakutanzamia ndani ya maisha yangu. Angalia kujitolea kwangu katika madhambao yako ni wewe Bwana ninayehitaji ndani ya maisha yangu ni wewe ambaye Bwana unaweza badilisha maisha yangu ninaomba ukanipatie neema ya kunyenyekea nishamee kama Bwana sijawahi tambua madhambao na kunyenyekea siku ya leo ninashukuru kwa sababu mahali hapa ndipo umekuwa ukiniongelelea nataka tu uanze kuombea kuojiombea na kushukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya haya madhambao ambia Mungu akupatie neema ya kuheshimu mtumishi wake mwambie Mungu akupatie neema ema ya kufanya loko arrangement ya kwamba utamtumikia bila kuuzisha watu utamtumikia bila kudungunika mwambie bwana huu shimu kaweze akaweze kukufungulia njia ya kwamba utaweza kuona matu, ma, matunda ya madambao ya kwamba madambao yako yatakupigania madambao yako yatanena kwa sababu ya kesho yako madambao yako yakaweze kuweza kukuwa na neema ngine katika jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus mwambie bwana mwambie bwana bwana usinyamaze katika madhambao yangu enda ukaninene enda ukaniongoze enda bwana ukawe pamoja nami madhambao yangu madhambao yangu yasinyamaze nipatie neema ya kuweza kukuamini kwa kiwango cha hali ya juu nisaidie bwana bila wewe mimi siwezi madhambao yako yakaninene baraka madhambao Bao yako Bwana yakaninenea kuinuliwa katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu nisaidie Bwana wa mbinguni unatosha Bwana unashaili we worship you Lord we bless your name Jehovah katika jina la Yesu tumeona mkono wako Bwana asante kwa sababu ya mtumishi wako katika haya madambao amenena baraka katika maisha yetu na tukaziona amenena na uponyaji kwa maisha yetu na tukapona bwana tunashukuru kwa maana umemtumia kwa njia kubwa tunamwombea pamoja na familia yake tunamfunika na damu ya Yesu tunaomba bwana ukaendelee kumtia ngobo ukaendelee bwana kupatia ushindi maishani mwake anaponena kwa sababu ya maisha yetu bwana wa majeshi enda ukamtie nguvu zitokazo kwako in the name of Jesus we worship you Lord ukiwa tu umeinua mikono yako ningependa tu kaweze kuamini kwa leo nikaweze kukuombea baba katika china la Yesu ninakushukuru kwa sababu wewe ni mwema na wewe ni mwaminifu asante kwa sababu ya watoto wote ambao bwana ni wana katika haya madambao Ninaomba Bwana kwa sababu mimi ni shahidi kwamba huwa unanena kupitia kwa mtumishi wako katika haya madhambao. Kila mtoto yeyote, kila mtu ambaye Bwana ameunganika na haya madhambao. Jioni ya leo Bwana naomba ukazungumzie baraka katika maisha yao. Ninaomba kila mmoja ambaye ni mwaminifu kwa fungu zake za kumi katika haya madhambao. Kila yeyote ambaye amekuwa partner katika haya madhambao. Kila yeyote amekuwa wakujinyima kwa sababu ya kusupport, 
kazi yako bwana katika haya madhabao ninaomba bwana ukaweze kurecharge biashara zao nenda bwana ukarecharge maisha yao wale ambao ni wagonjo wakapokea uponyaji wale ambao bwana wanahitaji nguvu na ushindi wacha bwana na wakapokee katika jina la Yesu ninaomba bwana jioni ya leo wacha yeyote ambaye bwana amewahi jitolea kwa sababu ya kuombea mtumishi wako amewahi jitolea kwa sababu ya kuombea kazi ya haya madhabao amewahi jitoa kwa hali na mali jioni ya leo bwana tunapoinua imani yetu juu na kuamini ya kwamba bwana unaenda kurecharge hali zetu ninaomba ya kwamba bwana ukawashughulikie moja kwa mwingine katika jina la Yesu usiku wa leo bwana ninaomba promotion ndani ya maisha yao wasio na biashara wakapate biashara wasio na amani wakapokea amani wanaoishi katika jia ya bwana isiyo kuwa na mwangaza wakapokea mwangaza katika jina la Yesu walio katika hali ya mateka ya uchawi bwana wa majeshi ukaweze kuwakomboa katika jina la Yesu usiku wa leo unatosha usiku wa leo wewe ni mwaminifu nenda bwana ukaponye maisha yao nenda bwana ukabadilishe bwana ndizi zao katika jina la Yesu Kristo achilia roho wako bwana akawashughulikie kwa jina la Yesu usiku wa leo wenda ukaponye bwana mioyo zao ukaponye popote ambapo bwana wanaishi wamefinyiliwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo we thank you Lord we bless your name na ni kwa Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini Pigia tu bwana makofi mazuri ninapomwalika baba yetu akaweze kuendelea karibu sana Amen celebrate Jesus hallelujah Ah you can do better celebrate Jesus hallelujah Amen amen we give God the glory we give God all the honor Amen just want us to honor God with our offering hallelujah Amen let's go to our pockets Let's believe and pray Father we thank you Father we honor you Lord As we honor you with our substance bless our lives take control of our lives Lord let altar speak to us at our line may we be returned because Lord you are saying of my people perish due to lack of knowledge Lord Lord as we have gotten the knowledge now Lord may we be returned in the mighty name of Jesus Father we give you glory and give you honor in Jesus name we pray amen amen can I bring offering God bless you God bless you Mungu awabariki Mungu akawazidi kwa tena mema akawasimamishe amen hallelujah uh, on 4th of this of September we will be giving uh, Let's receive it. Uh in prayer is important to to give a valuable offering. But let's receive it. So it will be a thanksgiving. Listen to me. Hakuna siri kubwa kama kushukuru Mungu. Hallelujah. Wakati mtumishi wa Mungu stai siati mbili lakini wakati alikuwa ananena kuna kitu nilisoma hapo hivyo na ikanishangaza sana. kaambia Mungu ata provide chini kitatolewa aliongea Bwana Yesu asifiwe alishashukuru kwamba kuna kitu hata kabla hajekiona Bwana Yesu asifiwe haleluya so we'll be giving thanks amen and i'll be giving them just give me the envelope amen 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 Bwana Yesu asifiwe this is for all of us we are giving thanks all of us amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe it's like a thanksgiving offering to kuanzia toto tare uh, tare nne but you can give it when you are ready bwana yesu asifiwe amen let's all come let's all come and collect it i declare blessing of the lord in this envelopes lord as we give thanks lord let our lives uh, 
be transformed. Lord, you have taught us that we give thanks in all circumstances, Lord. And this is an opportunity you are giving to us even to thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. you so much. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Mungu wa Hallelujah. So let's all go and prepare. We take an envelope, we prepare. Paneso zifiwe. Mungu wa kawatelemema. Let's all stand up on our feet. Chai kwa kila moja, kwa hivyo siondoke, kuna chai yako. Na tunashukuru mungu. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy, signs and wonders shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1. Arise and shine, for the light has come. The glory of the Lord has risen upon me. Mungu wa barikisana na mungu wa Shalom. See you tomorrow. God bless you.